Hello, my name is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. If you're new here, first off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. And you guys, it is the second season of Journey to Redemption. I'm super excited because I've been holding off uh, this on this LP just for the release of University, uh, Discovery University, and it's here. So I have plans. Yes, I have plenty of plans uh, for this LP, including um, our beloved Tati going off to college. So um, I won't do that quite yet, not right away, but um, I hope you guys watched the recap of season one. Um, this is it's kind of a catch up for those of you who haven't gotten a chance to um, watch the series or those of you who just wanted kind of a refresher. Um, it hasn't been that long, but sometimes I, I know um, you just need a reminder of what exactly happened. But um, for those of you who um haven't gone to see the recap, I definitely recommend going to see that before uh, watching this video. But if you want to just go ahead and you're feeling froggy, by all means, stick around and I will try to do my best to keep you abreast of what um, what is going on with Tatiana. And for those of you who are new, this is Tatiana. She is a teen uh, she, who's recently moved to Brindleton Bay to live with her estranged father, and um, her half sister. Also, there was a, a stepmom uh, in, in this house, but I had a little incident. Let me tell you what happened. Um, so, this is why I feel like we need um, emergency services in The Sims 4 for this very reason that I'm about to explain to you now. So I'm playing in the in this house, you know, to familiar, familiarize myself with this family. And um, Yuri, she was uh, Yuri was Trenton's wife. And I say was because you can see that she is no longer with us. She went home to glory. And um, the reason being, she uh, was cooking on the grill. Uh, pro tip, do not put the grill near the house. Always like set it somewhere out from away from the house, not against it, because a fire started. And for some reason, none of the Sims, none of the adult Sims, not even Tati, wanted to put the fire out. And Yuri, like a genius, kept running through the fire because it was spreading. Um, and it spread into the garage. It burned up all the the um, the equipment here, and she died on the floor in the garage um and we have her to her little tombstone here um yeah rip yuri lebeau so that was kind of unexpected it <laughs> yuri was actually going to be a part of my storyline but you know the sims have rewritten my stories um and so has mc command center but that's fine well we're going with it because that's what we do here um but so yeah yuri is uh, resting somewhere and um, yeah so we're gonna go with it all right so um, I'm gonna actually have Tati do some extra credit homework because I had her come home early because the baby was crying and we had a lousy butler and um, the butler wasn't doing her job she was just standing there chilling she wasn't even like cooking dinner when I asked her to um, so we went ahead and let her go but um, as you can see Trenton is recovering quite nicely from his um, his morning Ooh, what is what is smelly is Tati smelly Tati smelly is she oh yes okay we're gonna go ahead and get her um showered up I went ahead and added the um the new shower head from university I couldn't wait to get my little grubby hands on that I kind of wish that um they'd added like glass walls for so you can build a more customizable shower, but I'm, I'm cool with this. This is the beginning. This is a step towards awesomeness. Now here is who you guys are probably waiting to meet. This is baby Blake. I don't have a name for her yet. Um, the reason being is because, um, I wanted to wait to, um, age her up. Plus I couldn't find a name that was suitable for her. 
Um, and then I spoke with Keo Sims and we went ahead and put our heads together and we found a really pretty name. So you guys will see that, uh, see her name once we go ahead and age her up. But I'm not going to age her up right away. I'm going to go ahead and allow her to do that naturally in the game. I've been playing for a little while. So she's, I think, not. Ooh, I already had went ahead and told you guys the sex of the baby. Oh, it's Lily Mae. Okay. Okay, so Grandma Lily Mae wants to meet Tati somewhere. Okay, so here's the deal. You guys know that Tati moved out of the house, and she hasn't been back to Willow Creek in a while. Um, it's been a few months since our last season, and that's what we're going with. The baby obviously has been born. She hasn't spoken to anyone back at home um and with all the tragedy of losing of yuri's death and with the brand new baby she has had a lot on her plate plus she's had to pick up a part-time job to help pay for the nanny and the reason why she has a nanny is because um her dad works full-time he you know he has uh, to take care of his youngest daughter, um, Gabriela, and then, of course, the baby. So Tati has her schooling, job, and all that. And so her little part-time job helps pay for um, the nanny. But her dad takes care of everything else because she's currently going to a private school in Brindleton Bay um, for the last month of her um, her college career. And then she's going to try to see if she can get into university. I'm hoping she will. I don't know how that's going to go because she's been kind of, her schooling has been kind of lax a little bit with the baby. She's trying to keep up with that schedule, but it's been really, really hard. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and meet Grandma Lily and see what she once, uh, this is the first contact she's had with family outside of Brindleton Bay in a while. So um, I know her needs are failing right now, but I'm going to go ahead and and uh, send her over there. And we'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, so uh, we're here. Oh, you know, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and cheat up these knees really quick. What in the world? Um, we're going to talk to Wine About Unfair Life. What the? Where did he come from? Okay, I'm just going to cheat her needs up a little bit. Where are these people coming from? They're like just coming out of nowhere. So we want to talk to Grandma Lily. Um, call over. Yeah. Um, Is this a reno or is this with a Von Hunt? No, this is a renovation of the Von Hunt. Um, mansion. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, this does not look like the Von Hunt mansion that I'm used to. Where did they go? Okay. Um, she's up here talking to ghosts and stuff. We are intending to talk to Grandma Lily. And she's just, honestly, I think Grandma Lily is trying to find out how her daughter, her granddaughter is. She knows, obviously, she's being well taken care of, but um, she still worries. Um, she helps raise Tati. She just wants to make sure that she's okay and to keep her, to update her on, um, everything that's going on back home. Is she stuck? Oh my gosh, you guys, I'll be right back. I'm so glad to see you, Tati. I'm, uh, you look so good. I missed you, Grandma. I missed you too, baby girl. The house isn't the same without you. <laughs> Your mother is, um, she's been asking about you. Really? Has she really? Grandma, I know you're trying, but I don't think she really cares because she would have called me. Honey, give your mom some time. She's going through something. You, you and her father hurt her. You hurt her feelings. She did the best she, okay, that creeped me out over there in the corner. Um, she's do, she did the best she could. But how's the baby? Oh, she's doing wonderful, Grandma. I want you to come by and see her sometime. But Grandma, enough about me. How have you been? Oh, honey, I've been doing great. I just miss your face around the house. Um, but I have met someone, and I, we've been hanging out. Oh, really? Grandma, that's good. I'm so happy. Um, does it happen? Is it that one guy you were hanging out with your, your senior club? 
Uh, no, it's another guy. He he joined not too long ago, and uh, he's really nice. He's got uh, four granddaughters, and uh, he's a really sweet. I met his daughters. Um, come on back downstairs. Let me cheat up her energy because she keeps wanting to go to sleep. And this is the wrong place to be going to sleep, girl. Did Grandma Lily leave? You guys, did she just like disappear? Oh, that was creepy. She was over here in the living room and she totally disappeared. Please tell me that that she's just outside. No, she disappeared. Okay, well, it is kind of late. Um, it's Friday, but um, we're going to go ahead and send Tati home. She's in a terrible mood, and I don't want to keep cheating up her um, her needs because, um, yeah, we want to keep this as real as possible, right? Right? Even though I cheat uh, emotions all the time. Anyways, um, we're going to go ahead and send her home, and you guys... Um, can get to meet Gabriela and uh, baby Blake again um, because we didn't really talk about her that much. Also, I have, um, well, we'll just talk about that later. Anyways, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and have Tati take care of her little needs and send her to bed. Uh, let me just make sure she, the baby, okay, the baby's asleep. Um, I just want to get, give you guys a little update on these two right here, Gabriela and Trenton. Trenton is Tati's estranged father, and they've been trying to get to know each other little by little. Actually, I think they're doing really well as far as their relationship is concerned. Yeah, they actually are really good friends. And Tati is doing, is trying to form a relationship with her sister, her half-sister, Gabriela. Um, she didn't really get a chance to get to know Yuri, even though that was a little tense. Um, Yuri was not exceedingly happy about Tati moving in. She wasn't even happy about the fact that um, Tati, uh, that um, Trenton was paying for Tati's tuition, even though that was his, that's his daughter. Um, so there was some tension back at home and the fact that she moved in made it even worse. But um, Trenton has been recovering slowly from the loss of his wife. Um, he, for a little while, was depressed. He was eating, like he wasn't even eating, guys. He was spending most of his time eating ice cream. Um, yeah, it was pretty bad. Like he, that's all he would eat was ice cream. Um, so it was just like, I don't know why, for some reason, I can't get can't throw these away. I think I might have to move the garbage can. But anyways, um, so he went to, into this like mode of depression, started gaining a little weight. And then one day he woke up and he was like, I can't do this anymore. So he bought some um, exercise equipment um, and he renoed the kitchen because, um, wow, what it, what is that? He renovated the kitchen and um, he also bought some new furniture here in the living room and he replaced his um, bedroom set because he didn't want to sleep in the same bed that he and his wife used to sleep in because it was just too many memories. And what's sad is this room right here, he had actually um, fixed this room up for her as her little woman cave because she was originally, um, let me put Gabriella to bed. She was... Um, originally downstairs in Tati's room and uh, when she moved in of course uh, her little woman cave went bye-bye and that was something else she was kind of ticked off about so he tried to make it up for her make it up to her by creating this little space and right after I finished doing uh fixing this up uh she uh, we had the little incident um, so that was kind of bittersweet. Is that better? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Cause I mean, it was like tragic. It really was. Um, okay. The baby's awake. I'm going to have him come check on the, well, you know what? No, Tati is going to check on the baby. So that means I've got to wake her up. Uh, she's not going to be happy about it, but so yeah, this is baby, um, Blake now. Okay. So Tati is, um, she's been doing some thinking. And if you guys remember from the last episode, 
Um, spoiler alert for those of you who have not seen it. She decided that she did not want to tell Nico about um, about the baby. But after doing some uh, like some deep heart searching, she decided that this was not the best route for her to go. Um, she realized what she was doing. She she was going down the same path that her mother went, except in this case, Nico would have no idea that he was a father. Um, and she just did not want that for her child, nor does she want that for Nico. She does want her family, and, and Nico is considered her family. Uh, he's her best friend, he's her confidant, and he had become her lover. And um, even at this young age, and she just she wants um, him to be a part of their life. And uh, so she decided that she is going to um, t- to go and tell him about uh, the baby. So, oh, is it time to age her up? Oh, wait a minute. Let me just check. Almost, I think. Okay, so it is kind of early, but I'm going to um, get her. um, I'm going to get her ready um, in a little bit to go over to the champion house. And that's going to be a bit of a ride to go over there from Brillington Bay. But she is so it's probably best that we try to get her ready pretty early. Um, So I'm going to have her talk to her dad and see if he'll watch the baby um let's see let's talk to him and i'm sure he'll i'm sure he'll be okay with watching the baby for a little while um i don't know cuz he doesn't know actually what he doesn't know about her decision not to tell nico he's actually concerned more or less that nico hasn't showed up um, but he doesn't really know Nico that doesn't know Nico at all. Dad, hey, um, I want to ask you if you had um, if you had some time today, if you could watch the baby for a little while. I mean, if I have to hire the nanny for a few hours, that's fine. No, no, baby, that's 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 OK. What plans do you have? Well, I wanted to head to um, Willow Creek. I needed to talk to uh, someone. So um Is it the father? Uh, Yeah, it is. Well, babe, whatever you need to do, that's fine. Um, That's important. Oh, great. This is a, she is one whiny baby. Um, Let me go ahead and bounce her and coo. Um, She cries a lot. I don't know why she is the most whiny baby, but that's okay. We love her anyways. She's so cute. Um, And I think she has Nico's. No, we can't tell. See, this is the thing about the Sims 4 babies. They all look alike. (laughs) They don't have any personalities of their own. Um, Nobody in this house cooks, by the way. Um, Tati barely cooks. Let me look at her. She's got like no skills. Oh, she does cook. What am I talking about? Her cooking is maxed. Um, he, however, does not cook. Um, his skills are lacking. He's got very poor parenting skills. Um, but here's the thing. Yuri did most of the, she was the parent. She was the housewife and he was the breadwinner. So why am I clicking on her homework? Um, so now he's kind of learning. He's got to learn how to be a, like a full-time parent, a full-time, um, doctor uh, and um, make sure this house runs uh, like clockwork. But Tati's been a huge help. Um, what was I going to do with him? I'm going to do something with him. But I just like completely lost my train of thought here. Okay. So, oh, he's got to go to work. Oh, great. Oh, great. Okay. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to hire a nanny. Um, so let me do that. Uh, Hire nanny service. Ooh, she's not doing good at all. All right, let's have her use the bathroom. Let's have her take a shower. And um, I will have her eat before we go. 
So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take care of our knees and then I will see you guys over in Willow Creek. All right, we are back, guys. And um, OK, so here's the deal. Tati went over to the champion's house and she she couldn't muster the courage to go to the door right away. She actually ended up calling first and um, Mrs. Champion answered the door. So um, she did ask for Nico or she answered the phone and she asked for me, Nico and Nico. She told her that Nico wasn't home. Well, Tati has taken a long bus ride to um, Willow Creek. So she just didn't want to like turn around and go back home. So um, you could tell uh, Melissa could tell that Tatiana wanted to tell her something just from the way um, she was kind of beating around the bush and so she just basically told her to come over. Um, and then she was just like, you know, I'm on my way out. Um, but I was going to grab a coffee before I met some of my girlfriends. Why don't you go ahead and come to the coffee shop with me? So Tati's here at this coffee shop here in uh, Windenburg. Um, yet another ride over. But at this point, she's just like desperate to tell someone about her little secret. I wish the Sims would stop walking through the walls. So um, anyways, Tati has been kind of hesitant, but finally Melisande just like, look, Tati, I know that um, you need to talk to me about something. Um, we haven't seen you in months, and Nico's been just, Nico has been um, worried or sick about her and the fact that She's found out that Nico hasn't been himself lately um, because he has had no idea where Tati disappeared. He assumed with her dad, but he doesn't have a clue where her dad is from. Tati, I understand that you're looking for Nico, but look, I will be honest. You, I, Nico has been, hasn't been the same since you left. And frankly, you broke my son's heart and... I I don't understand why you're just all of a sudden trying to reappear back into his life. Mrs. Champion, I understand. Do you, Tati? Do you understand how you left my son uh, with uh, this broken heart? I, I didn't intend to break his heart. I didn't intend to break his heart, Mrs. Champion. I, I just, I needed... I needed some time. Time for what? <sighs> okay. Um, can we can we take this elsewhere? Maybe outside here. So let's go let's see if we can go outside. Okay. Um I left because for one, my mother and I have not been been on the greatest of terms, I understand. But I also left because Nico and I, well, I ended up getting pregnant. You what? Yeah. And it's Nico's. It's Nico's. And how do I know that's true? How do I know that you're not trying to set my son up. You see that he's wealthy. And I understand that your family has been struggling. I understand that you're actually, um, you actually are at Windenburg High School on a scholarship. That, that isn't exactly true. You don't understand, Mrs. Champion. Oh, don't I? No, I... Look, Tati, you've brought me out here or you've come with me, and I took you, I let you come to my house by my good graces. I know what type of person you are. You're an opportunist. I'm not an opportunist. I actually love your son, do you? I know people just like you. Why, because you're just like me? I'm this opportunist, right? <laughs> Honey, I know women just like you. You come from the wrong side of the tracks. You come from nothing. 
and you see someone that has money and, well, let's just be honest, he's your meal ticket out of Willow Creek. How dare you? You know, I thought that you were reasonable, but I guess not. Tati's been home for a couple hours and she made a beeline to check on her little bean. So cute. I mean, she's like right now the only comfort that she's she has. Um, and she was she didn't know what to expect going to talk to, to talk to Nico and finding him um, absent from the house and ended up hanging out with Mrs. Champion. She knew that Mrs. Champion kind of tolerated her, um, but she didn't think that she was as, as ignorant as she came off today or, well, it's three o'clock in the morning. So yesterday and um, she just wasn't expecting that at all. So trying to talk to tell Nico about their baby was unsuccessful and she just doesn't feel like she has the emotional strength to go through that again. And the fact that risking her child being possibly mistreated because she so-called came from the wrong side of the tracks, that she has, um, she's not wealthy. Um, what Tati doesn't know is that Mrs. Champion is wasn't wealthy either. Uh, Mrs. Champion uh, came from the wrong side of the tracks as well. But, you know, she forgot where she came from and she chose to do so um, purposely. As a matter of fact, um, Melisande has no contact with that side of her family whatsoever. Um, she pretends like they don't exist um, because her family um, isn't rich they're poor. Um, they struggle to make ends meet just like the rest of the world. And Mason was her meal ticket out of her home. So um, she relates to Tatiana more than she cares to admit. And I think that's why she kind of snubs her or not snubs her. She completely snubs her. Um, but Tatiana doesn't know this. She absolutely not. Um but she definitely does not want her child. She doesn't want, want to risk her child um, being um, mistreated. So um, if if um, by any chance Melisande decides to uh, tell Nico about the baby, um, she would hope that Nico would come see the baby herself or himself rather. So yeah. Anyways, um, I'm going to let her go to sleep. I think tomorrow what we're going to do is try. Well, no, we'll go ahead and end the episode here. I hate to do it like that, but, um, I definitely don't want to go the, have this go too much longer because I have a knack for having 45 minute videos and we don't want to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of journey to redemption season two. And if you guys have any comments about what's going on with Tati and Melisande and Nico and the baby and such, please, by all means, give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I definitely love to have a conversation with you. Um, definitely want your opinions on the matter at hand. However, before I leave you, I leave you kind people. Um, I want to say thank you for all of you who have come and subscribed. We have hit a benchmark. I think I said this before, and I just want to tell you how grateful I am for you stopping by, for you watching the videos, for you commenting, liking, sharing, whatever it is that you're doing. Please, I just want to say that I, I want you to understand that I'm so very grateful. Um, now, with that being said, if you're not a member of the family, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every time I upload, because I do try to upload at least three times a week. And until next time, guys. 
Ciao.